it's all on video. There's a reason it's called the war on crime. For the next 60 minutes, we'll put you on the front line. You'll see the scariest pursuits, wildest shootouts, and most outrageous outlaws from around the world. Much of this footage has never been seen before. We've gathered these stories from police. What do we need to take him out here now? News agencies. Oh, no. Even citizens on patrol to show you the stark reality that criminals have declared you the enemy. And knowing your opponent is the only way this war will be won. Sheriff John Bunnell. The main job of an officer on patrol is simple, to catch criminals in the act. But when lawbreakers know they're busted and that fight or flight response kicks in, they become very irrational and incredibly dangerous. And we're gonna show you the insane measures they'll take to escape justice. So hang on, things are about to get wild. In Tacoma Park, Maryland, a bank robbery is about to reach a terrifying conclusion. In the face of dozens of lawmen, a lone thief emerges with a sack of money and a teller at gunpoint. He demands a clear path to his car. Police know they can't let him reach his ride. But they also can't risk shooting the woman. Suddenly, the die pack explodes surprising the crook with a cloud of red. Furious, he presses on. But what happens when he steps off the curb is not part of his plan. As the felon backs away, Where are you going? he slips on the ice. His hostage breaks free. He pursues, aiming the gun at her back and six officers fire at once. The perp's path creates a crossfire situation that could be deadly for the cops. But their aim is true. Several police make sure there are no accomplices inside, while the suspect is firmly secured. In only 66 seconds from the time he came out the door, it's over for this man who is so willing to gamble with a young woman's life. Authorities know that a hostage situation has no margin of error. So when these officers saw even the slimmest of openings, they made it count. Stark, Florida. A fleet of sheriff and police vehicles close in on a wild thief on the run. The perp just robbed a convenience store for a few measly bucks. But now he's running like a man facing death row. A sheriff's SUV tries to pass to block him in. No dice. The ruthless crook speeds ahead, even blowing past a school bus. Then a cruiser takes the lead with Captain Eddie Boatride riding shotgun. But at the next intersection, the suspect unexpectedly cuts right, tripping up the deputies on his tail. but it'll take more than a fender bender to knock Boatwright and his driver out of the running. From the back of the pack, the two-man team races ahead and retakes the lead. Boatwright knows the hood's frantic driving could kill someone. They need to end this while traffic is clear. 
so with his partner steering into position, the captain aims out his window and shoots at the criminal. rip into the cab. The wounded driver can't hold the road and rockets up an embankment, doing a complete flip through the air. Deputies take no chances. A host of law enforcement officials surround the wreck. But the fugitive has paid the ultimate price. No, not yet. What started as a petty robbery escalated into a high speed battle on the streets. This violent renegade played a deadly game. And losing it cost him his life. Pinell County, Arizona. A man is being released from jail after he was held on a minor failure to comply offense. But apparently, he's not all that anxious to have his freedom. The inmate suddenly lashes out at an officer. Stunned by the unmotivated attack, the guard gets beaten to the floor. Then the thug brutally kicks the down cop as backup rushes in. The second enforcer also struggles against the con. It takes yet another official to turn the tables. They don't know why this ruffian is fighting, but he continues racking up charges. Officers finally control him. But several of the guards have been injured, including the first one whose broken nose left a bloody stain on the floor. The suspect now faces multiple counts of assault. Hopefully for him, orange is his color. In a bizarre twist, the jailbird later admits he wanted to stay caged because he feared a drug cartel that accused him of snitching and threatened to kill him on the outside. But hitting cops wasn't a smart solution. And now he's traded a threat for a promise of hard time. Coming up on World's Wildest Police Video. A jumping jewelry thief takes on a hopping mad owner. A speed demon tears up the asphalt. Look at how fast this vehicle is going. And other traffic. Oh, here we go. And later, a maniac bent on revenge I'm gonna die. aims his hatred at elected officials. Please don't. Next. London, England. A man enters a jewelry store, acting like a typical everyday customer. But there's one subtle difference. Most customers don't put on gloves to start shopping. Yes, daddy. The staff is onto this line thug immediately. Come on, down. I'm a customer, I know. Are you gonna treat me like one? But for now, they calmly play along. They know he'll tip his hand eventually. I've got money in my pocket to take him out. No problem, we'll ask you, darling. And when he does, he'll find they've already locked the door. The man finally makes his move. Put that in a tray, and I'll take this. Then realizes. Come in, open the door. He's the one who got played. Pinned in and ticked off. 
The bandit lashes out. But the shopkeep lashes back. He meets the robber head on with a metal rod. The thief is shocked to find the old man so tough. A lot tougher than the counter. Now this guy's ass is glass. While the boss fights him off, a clerk hits the silent alarm. The panicked perp finally clears the counter and storms the sales area, only to find himself outnumbered. He's thrown in a headlock and pounded with fists. Even the owner's mother gets in on the action, bashing the culprit with an office chair. The thief returns to the front for some breathing room. But he's no closer to an escape. Out of options, he desperately threatens the life of the owner's mother. Even though he has no weapon. The boss appears to relent, flinging a case at the man in frustration. The loser grabs the loot, thinking he's home free. Instead, the noose is tightening. Now he's trapped between the two doors. He thrashes frantically, finally breaking the glass. Too late. A plainclothes cop is there to greet him. The officer keeps him confined until backup arrives. Now, the crook will be transferred to another holding cell. This criminal's plan was half-baked from the start. Not to mention it clearly lacked an exit strategy. And he was no match for this angry staff who knew how to protect their family jewels and put this diamond thief under house arrest. Most police pursuits are over in less than six minutes. Anything longer, and you'll probably get one of these guys tracking you down. Helicopters have cameras, spotlights, two and a half hours of flight time, and speeds up to 120 miles an hour to follow a suspect. Believe me, nothing escapes the eye in the sky. Los Angeles, California is the capital of high-speed chases. Now heading westbound on Central Avenue. So you have to be out of your mind to think you can evade these seasoned cops. This is an extremely high-speed pursuit on the surface streets of Hollywood. This driver tried to be a tough guy by flashing a gun at two people in traffic. Turns out they were undercover officers. Now he's running scared from the full force of the LAPD. The intimidated outlaw blasts down darkened back streets. Oh, there's some sparks now. Looks like it's bottoming out. He cuts perilously through traffic. There seems to be no concern for any of the other vehicles on the street. And floors at every chance he gets. Look how fast this vehicle is going. Patient officers fall back. And we're going to back off now hoping the fiend will ease off the gas. LAPD slowing down now here because this is such a dangerous pursuit. But he's too blindly focused on escape to notice. There's a pedestrian right there. Oh, just swerving around the pedestrian. And when the road becomes too congested, he uses the sidewalk. Now he's pulling over. He's on the sidewalk. Oh, look, he's knocking down a sign here as he continues to get around the traffic there. After 18 minutes of running, this menace has already beaten the odds. It doesn't last. Oh, look out! An accident here. He tagged the vehicle to try to get through that intersection. The SUV roars into cross traffic and pummels a sedan, spinning it into a violent 360. The vehicles grind onto the sidewalk. 
a squadron of police swoops in on the armed perp. Caught dead to rights, he puts his hands in the air. But he doesn't want the world to see how afraid he is and tries to play it cool. Look at him as he just casually goes over to the sidewalk. We'll see how cool this guy really looks when he's standing in front of a judge. The suspect is now thrown down. As for the occupants of the other car, luckily, they aren't seriously hurt. This renegade burned up the streets, terrified that the cops would catch him. Look how fast this vehicle is going. But ultimately, it was his own recklessness that stopped this rampage cold. Oh, look out! Just ahead, on world's wildest police video, a cop gets a shock. So it's gonna be a blue crown Vic. From a crook packing heat. <laughs> and a closed convenience store has a grand opening. The perps are feeling the pressure. Next. Call in, call in. Between credit cards, debit cards, and online shopping, there's a lot less cash out there for criminals to target these days. And even though registers are getting emptier, there is one place crooks will always look for money, at ATMs, and there are over 400,000 of them in the United States. Irmo, South Carolina. This gas station is closed for the night, making the shop a perfect target for a smash and grab. The man in this truck, Dickie Thomas Boyd, wants to steal the ATM inside. The smash part is simple. But the grab will prove far more daunting. Of course, it doesn't help that Dickie is as smashed as the storefront. The drunken genius's first step is to get a cable out of his truck without breaking his neck. This is clearly a mastermind of work. Next, he ties the cable from the ATM to the truck. Then he gives it the gas. But it's not enough. His second try? Too much. The ATM tears loose, but so does the cable. The good news is, Dickie has a backup cable. The bad news, he gets halfway through tying it off before he realizes the ATM is loose on the floor. Now he just has to toss his prize in the truck and hightail it. After all, these things can't weigh more than four or 500 pounds. It quickly becomes a battle of man versus machine. And the smarter one is winning. But at least Dickie is getting some exercise in futility. Then just as the intrepid thief is starting to get good at this, he's rudely interrupted. A passing cop spots him and sends the boozer scrambling into the night. Unfortunately, Dickie's driving skills are no better than his smash and grab skills. Unable to hold the road, he skids off into a ditch and bumbles down the shoulder. He just hit a pond. Moments later, his blood alcohol level catches up to him. And he turns a tree into kindling. It's a fitting end to his brilliant caper. Officers learned that Dickie had just been released on bond from another criminal misadventure. He was sure he could do better this time and work out all the kinks. The only thing that went wrong was everything. 
Tallahassee, Florida. Officer Chuck Perry was suspicious when he saw this car with two men loitering behind the local bank. And I'm at Target uh, San Pedro. But he never suspected that pulling them over gonna be a blue crown could go sideways so quickly. Tallahassee, I've just been fired at. The car's been hit several times. When he sees the two pistols, only quick reflexes and a fast reverse save Perry from sudden death. I have been shot at. He knows he can't lose sight of that car until he gets back up. Black male wearing a beige shirt came out with the one shot about 10 times that day. What Perry doesn't know is that the gunman also has a high-powered rifle in the car. We are southbound on And plenty more ammo that he's about to unload. The shots hit the car battery, damaging the electrical system. But as long as his cruiser can keep kicking, Perry won't give an inch. With his car staggering and backup converging, he warns his fellow officers. Moments later, police come upon some skid marks. And Perry can tell exactly what happened. He's gonna try to come back over again. The suspects lost control on this corner, shot over the embankment, and now their car lies upside down in this construction site. Bystanders think it's a traffic accident. Until they hear the tone of Chuck's voice. Perry acts quickly to get the drop on the offenders. But these wannabe bank robbers are too injured to fight. As medics arrive, Perry relives his harrowing experience. Yeah, these guys are out of control, man. There's four holes all over my car. For his courage under fire, Officer Chuck Perry receives Florida's Law Enforcement Officer of the Year Award. And there's no doubt he earned every bit of it. Still to come on World's Wildest Police Video. A DUI dragnet catches a drunk. How much you been drinking? The hard way. An officer has his hands full. Better stop. With a bare ass jogger. And a carjacker pushes his hot ride to its boiling point. Kansas City, Kansas. At 3.45 in the morning, a checkpoint is proving highly successful at nabbing DUIs. First name, Alec. After all, there isn't much traffic out at this hour, other than drunks. But as officers cuff this lush and load them into their paddy wagon, had those off and went through Bill Friday. business picks up even more. <laughs> A second cruiser parked behind the lead unit records a wayward driver insanely trying to pass on the right. For Officer Tim Fitzgerald, there's no time to get out of the way. He tries to get up from the hit, but quickly collapses in the road. In the mayhem, the handcuffed suspect thinks this might be a good time to split. One of the cops quickly scoops him up again. As the man is wrangled, Fitzgerald is tended to by one of his partners. Stay down. Stay down. What'd he get? Leg. Okay, stay down. Not surprisingly, the woman driving the other car turns out to be highly intoxicated. 
thanks to her deadly combination of speed and alcohol. One policeman ends up in the hospital, and two very drunk drivers end up in jail. West Melbourne, Florida. Law enforcement officials are taught how to handle all kinds of different criminals. But let's face it, some they'd rather not handle at all. Police respond to a call about an early morning jogger who left his jogging clothes at home. The patrolman isn't sure why the breezy runner is swinging free, but he knows he has to take this exhibitionist off the streets. Stop. The streaker ignores the order. It's clear he's on something more than a runner's high. You better stop. This isn't exactly the kind of perp the cop wants to get into a wrestling match with. Fortunately, he has a plan B, a taser. And not just any taser, this one is equipped with a camera. Ironically, the camera is meant to cover the cop's butt and prove that someone isn't stopping without those 50,000 volts. The officer gets his man and his evidence. Don't move. Stay there. Thanks to his cracked police work, backup is soon on the scene. Put your hands behind your back right now. And this new dude is under wraps. He'll be charged for his public indecency. Better stop. And for resisting arrest. Fortunately for him, there's a spare jumpsuit at the jailhouse. Novosibirsk, Russia. A carjacker is busting out his best moves, trying to shake police. But so far, not so good. His sharp turns and erratic driving have done nothing to lose the pros behind him. Panicking, the thief roars down the wrong side of the road and around a blind curve. An oncoming car swerves hard to avoid a devastating collision. The Russian officers keep pace, still hot on the suspect's tail. But when he hits a straight stretch, he threatens to pull away for good until his flight hits a snag. At an intersection, a crossing car doesn't see the rapidly approaching runner. It all ends in a flash of dust and crumpled metal. Please come upon the innocent motorist first, who's been thrown out onto the curb. He's dazed, but still alive. They hurry to the perp next, before he can take off on foot. But once they see him, they know he's not going anywhere. His face has been ground into caviar, and he's happy to take their help. Maybe with some luck, he won't get shipped off to a gulag in Siberia. Because no matter how much he swerved, dodged, or sped, he could not outrun justice. Still to come, on world's wildest police videos, anarchists on the warpath rip a city to pieces. And a lady on the run makes a crushing miscalculation. The number of charges that stem from running from the cops can be staggering. Traffic offenses, felony evading, reckless endangerment, and even assault with a deadly weapon. But sometimes what runners do to themselves is much worse than any violation the cops can throw at them. Moses Lake, Washington. An officer stops a woman wanted for check forgery. Can I see your license? It's a foolish crime. 
but not nearly as foolish as her escape attempt will be. The patrolman jumps in his squad car, scrambling to give chase, but she's not hard to follow. Her diesel pickup belches out a cloud of black smoke. As the cop catches up, the woman lumbers into a closed neighborhood with only one way in and one way out. And we're gonna back off now. By now, the pursuing officer is content to back off and follow. The way this woman is floundering, it's only a matter of time before she does herself in. But the blunder she makes is one the policeman could never have imagined. She decides to try it on foot. Big mistake. the outlaw attempts to bail, she second guesses herself and clings to the vehicle for dear life. The runaway truck careens into a low wall and crushes her underneath the back wheel. Bystanders rush to her aid. They attempt to remove the two-ton truck from her torso, but they can't budge it. And the woman is quickly suffocating. The officer jumps into the truck and guns the gas, spitting her out and saving her life. The woman is soon rushed to a nearby hospital where she makes an amazing recovery. In the end, the fleeing felon is sentenced to one and a half years for forgery and evading police. But it's the punishment she inflicted on herself that will leave the strongest impression. Istanbul, Turkey. 5,000 activists take to the streets to protest a major financial summit. While most of the demonstrations are peaceful, a disturbing handful aren't. Anarchists join the march. And it doesn't take long for the Hellraisers to stir up trouble. The punks vandalize banks and other businesses, then turn their fury on police vehicles. Officers push back. They use tear gas, hoping to curb the escalating aggression. But in minutes, the violence spills across the entire city. The anarchists use anything they can find to lash out at authorities. Even a chopper isn't safe. Hoodlums use a homemade rocket launcher to shoot fireworks at the helicopter. Nearby, rioters take over a highway, forcing traffic to a standstill. And the situation is about to go from bad to worse. Demonstrators spot two patrolmen stuck in traffic. The delinquents unleash their rage smashing the car's windows with concrete. The cops act fast, firing warning shots through the glass. But the rebels don't back off. A block smashes through the window, sending the lawmen on the run. They make their escape through a hail of rocks. One rioter's fury nearly gets him kneecapped by a car. Back in the center of town, the police bring out the big gun. A riot tank that can blast pepper spray 200 feet. The miscreants scatter like roaches into the back streets and authorities mobilize in pursuit. The pitch battle rages for a full day through the heart of Istanbul. But cops keep fighting to take back the city, one block at a time. Eventually, the troublemakers are dispersed and order is restored. Results of this lawlessness, more than 500 arrests and $4 million in damage. 
what started as a peaceful protest spiraled into chaos. With cops caught in the center of the mayhem. But officers stood strong and fought back to hold the line between law and anarchy. Coming up on World's Wildest Police Videos, it's the chilling showdown you don't want to miss. At least let us know what's going on. As a twisted gunman reaches his breaking point I'm gonna die. and puts innocent people in the crosshairs Please don't. of his violent vendetta. Next. Panama City, Florida. A school board meeting is the last place you'd expect a deadly crisis. But today, the gathering is about to be interrupted by a man with a terrifying agenda. Everybody in this room. Behind that counter, get the road. Leave. Painting a symbol of vengeance on the wall. The stranger pulls a pistol and puts an end to the proceedings. He orders everyone out. If you may leave, you may leave. Except the men on the board. Six men stay. Everyone else leaves. But even before the menace reveals his intentions, one brave lady sneaks back in and attempts to save her co-workers. No, no, Jesus. She tries to swat the weapon away. To her horror, the plan doesn't work. No. No. But in a bizarre twist of chivalry, the man lets her go. In fact, he claims to be here in defense of another woman, his wife. He tells his hostages that she lost her job at school on their orders. You see, our benefits are out. You see what I'm saying? And his frustration leads to a bone-chilling prediction. I'm going to die today. Officials try to talk sense to him. Hey, listen, listen to me. Look, look, look here. The school board here, we just try to do what's best for children. Please, just talk to us. If I can help you get your wife a job somewhere else, I'll be glad to do that. The ticked off husband isn't listening. Taking cover at a rear door, an armed school safety officer tries to assess the threat. Say, hey, Adam. Boy, I guess you're one of the cops. Come on in. Got a real gun there? Come on in. Nah, look away, man. The supervisor desperately attempts to defuse the situation. If you're gonna, if, if you're gonna kill yourself or kill us or whatever, at least let us know what's going on. He even offers himself up to save his co-workers. I'm the one that signed the paper, right? Okay. Let them go. I'm the one that did it. But the antsy gunman seems determined to make his grim prediction come true. I've got a feeling that what you want is the cops come in and kill you. But why? If this, is, this isn't worth it. In his mind, there's no turning back. This is a problem. Please don't. Please don't. Please. I'm Bent on revenge, the madman pulls the trigger. The school officer responds swiftly and decisively. Bullets tear through the room. The man collapses on the floor. The panicked board members check to see who's been hit. You okay, Bill? I'm fine. You okay? I'm fine. Somehow, they're all okay. Every one of the perp's rounds missed its target. Police storm in from the wings and secure the room. They find that the wounded assailant took his own life. He may have thought he was some kind of hero. Six men stay. Everyone else leaves. Who was willing to fight the power. No. No, Chief. But risking innocent lives and acting like a martyr. I'm gonna die only tore his own family apart.
whether they're shameless, violent, or just plain bizarre. Better stop. Criminals are on the loose. But no matter how low they go, or how fast they run, there are always blue uniforms to fight the good fight. And whatever they may face, oh, cops will never give up. Oh, here we go. Until justice is done.